hello soldiers welcome back to youtube channel in this video we are going to do exploratory data analysis on global terrorism data set so i have done exploratory data analysis along with i have also created dashboard so i'll show you both of them so you'll get an idea how to do eda and how to create dashboard in tableau so let's begin so this is our problem statement as a security or defense analyst try to find out the hot zone of terrorism what all security issues and insights we can derive by by doing exploratory data analysis so these are the required things which i imported numpy pandas and matplotlib seaborn so these are the required things which i imported then this is for mounting google drive so this is my path then i'm just loading my data set so you have to specify this thing because so when data is huge so you need this thing encoding okay without encoding you'll get an error so just remember that thing when loading big data sets so here you can see what why i am saying big data set we are having total 135 columns so so we are having total 135 columns just think that total 135 columns we are having then these are the column names so most of them we don't need so we'll take out only the things which we need as you can see here first we are what we are doing we are just renaming those columns as you can see we are having for the year we are having like i year for the month we are having like i month i day so these things we are going to change now so first we'll see those things for i year we are going to change it to year for i month month for i day day country underscore text to country so this is like state provision state provision state means state region text means region this is attack type 1 text means attack type so here target 1 means target n kill means killed so n wound means wounded so this is summary then g name means group target type text means target type weapon type weapon type motive so these things which we are going to do so if you put in place equals to true means uh, so these things will be saved automatically to this thing data so our data frame basically so what i am going to take i am just going to take few columns from our data set because our column so our data set is having total 135 columns right so i'm just going to take these things you can see year month day country state region city latitude longitude attack type killed wounded target summary group target type weapon type motive so i'm just going to take these columns so here is the data as you can see year month day country state so region city latitude longitude attack type killed wounded target so we are having this thing also summary group so we are going to do exploratory data analysis so you can see these things so this represents the distribution of data on each series in the data frame so you can see year month day latitude longitude killed wounded these things you can see so we are going to use this describe thing here you can see these are the things we are having for killed we are having almost 15 70 members were killed and for wounded we are having 8191 were wounded so i'm just going to plot 
correlation plot so yeah when you are doing when you are applying your machine learning things you need to see this correlation because so there we need to take highly highly correlated columns only so target variables should be highly correlated then only we'll get efficiency right so that's what here you can see only killed and wounded is having just correlated not highly correlated ones because it's not close to one so 0 0.53 so killed and wounded are correlated ones so if you are if you want to apply any machine learning model to this problem you can apply you can just take these two things okay killed and wounded here terrorist activities by region in each year through area plot so here we are going to do area plot here you can see pd dot cross tab you can use this thing and here dot plot kind equals to area so when we give kind equals to area we are plotting area plot here you can see terrorist at activities by region in each year so this thing we will see here uh, like that thing here also in tableau so tableau will be more interactive than just there here you can see so australia is having terrorist activities more like so in 2014 right here also same thing will be there number of attacks most number of attacks were took in the year with respect to year means that is australia that is like 2014 in 2014 so middle east so in 2014 these things like that you can do your things okay just don't blindly follow this video you can explore yourself these things okay i'll give you a link to my dashboard as well okay number of terrorist activities and each year here you can see uh, what we are doing here like we are using seaborn sns dot count plot here i'm just going to take year and i'm just going to do one thing right i'm just going to do count of year then you can see the number of terrorist activities each year since 2014 and 2015 has a large number of terrorist activities here you can see 2014 and 2015 have large number of terrorist activities number of attack were there in 1970 and 2017 and also find the percentage the attacks have increased okay so what we are going to do here year equal to data dot year we are using value underscore counts so it will just count the like so if to 1970 is repeated two or three times like it will count it will put 1970 and it will just count uh, this number is occurred this many times like that okay here rate equals to year of 2017 minus it will like minus year of 2019 divided by 2017 1970 here you can see year 2017 minus year 201970 by year 2017 into 100 so attack happened in 1970 and year 19 uh, attack happened in 1970 and year 2017 okay we can see that so these many attacks were happened you can you can also make this chart like this like it's attractive and interactive both right so you can do that thing with this code okay 
just explore yourself here in the year 2000 uh, in the year 1970 we have so these many attacks so yeah you can see hijacking blue one Switzerland in Switzerland we can see deaths 47 deaths in 2000 in 2017 we are having Iraq 27 deaths like that okay method of attack here what I am taking here I am taking attack type and then I am again applying value count okay so here you can see bombing explosion is highest among all these things armed assault is the next one and all these things you can see and the least one is hijacking hijacking means uh, in movies we will see you know they'll they'll hijack aeroplanes like that so that's the least one and mostly using bombing and explosions so yeah type of target so who are their target people so for that we are just using target type then again with the value counts here you can see private citizens and property is their highest target and the least one is others and abortion related food or water supply so these things you can see NGO is also least one military so private citizens and property then after military then police so these things you can see total number of terrorist attacks in each country and region using bar plot so here also you can see here terrorist attacks per country terrorist attacks per region here you can see in Iraq the most number of terrorist attacks were took place and the least in Egypt so here by region you can see Middle East and North Africa and the least in Australasia or something okay then the total number of attacks in each country using globe we will first create new data frame which contains the total count of attacks for each country in order to use it as a color bar so this for this thing we are doing that okay here we are using group by and then then we are just supplying count here okay that thing is for this and here you can see this is this is more interactive than you think okay you can just do this thing here so we will see our country one only in India this many attacks took place okay and in, okay we will see another in China these many attacks took place in Myanmar in Sri Lanka in Afghanistan in Pakistan so countries suffered the maximum attacks state the number and countries suffered minimum attacks state the number so as we can see here Iraq has suffered the maximum number of terrorist attacks of 24,636. So this is the least one, okay, with the only one terrorist attack. So now let us check out which terrorist organizations have carried out their operations in each country. So for this, we are using group then again value counts okay and we are taking only top 12 okay not we are not going to take all of them okay so there will be big list okay so taliban is the most so they took this thing okay and you can read all of them okay now we look closer at trend before and after the war on okay 
so change in regions per year after declaration of war and terror okay so these things you can see like yeah from the first plot it is very noticeable that the terrorism landscape before and after the war on terror is vastly different before 2001 the regions were much closer here you can see the regions were much closer so yeah much closer together in terms of activity eventually all dropping to the minimum in 2000 After 2001, the Middle East and South Asia have dedicated the rise in terrorism numbers, and with the significant increase in sub-Saharan Africa as well. So you can just go through this thing. Insights derived from the above EDA. So you can only see. So the here you can see which terrorist organization have carried out their operations in each country. So the Taliban is the most first one. So, it, so here you can see attacks has increased, but the number of people killed minor times as attack happened. Iraq has the most uh, most attacks. The Middle East and North Africa regions has most targeted, and maximum number of attacks were from uh, like bombing and explosions. There are minimum number of attacks in. Private citizens and property. They are maximum, not minimum. Sorry, maximum number of attacks because we saw here, right? Mm, let's go there. Yeah. Then military one. Okay. Mm, we'll come back. Taliban and ISIL has the most active organizations. Okay. We'll go through each sheet, okay? Here you can see. So in India, we have like this number of attacks. Count of country is the number of attacks, okay? So eleven thousand nine sixty. In Pakistan, these many attacks. In Iraq, we having twenty four thousand six thirty six attacks. Here you can see method of attack, bombing and explosion, and terrorist activities by regions in each year. These things also you can see. Mm, here, Taliban, then this one like that. Okay. So this is our dashboard. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you have any doubts, please do mention them in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them all. And you can check out all my videos. And that's it for now. Bye bye.